Chào mừng quý vị quay trở lại với chương trình đồng tiền thông minh với cuộc trò chuyện cùng anh Sunny Vũ là sáng lập viên của Misfit Wearables. Uh, welcome back, Sunny. So how was the experience at your previous company, Agam Matrix, that you was a successful before? Mm-hmm. And how, how does it help you with this project this time? You know, well, over the last uh, 12 years or so at Agam Matrix, we've uh, made over a dozen hardware products, and uh, we've learned a lot in this in this in the process of making those products. Um, you know, manufacturing and making a hardware product re- requires a lot. It's not just the engineering and the, the, the drawings, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's, there's just a lot that's involved in making the product, you know, finding good partners, quality assurance, scaling, you know, uh, just retail distribution, packaging, you know, design. I mean, there's just a lot of little pieces involved, and I think we learned a lot uh, about how to do that in the last uh, 12 years or so. Uh, but Shine is definitely one of the hardest, the hardest pro- product that we've ever made, and so it's been it's been really hard. And how long does it take from the beginning into like the shipping right now? It's been about a year. It'll be about a year and a half, uh-huh. year and a half. Um, and a lot of that is iteration. Mm-hmm. I know that you raised you already raised money from mm-hmm. the venture capital like over seven million U.S. dollars. Yeah. So yeah. going on Indiegogo, the crowdfunding side, the ultimate goal is not money, right? I mean, look, we're a startup, so money is always helpful, right? Mm-hmm. But uh, crowdfunding is not, uh, w- money was definitely not our chief goal. Okay. You know, um, our chief goal was to get mar- market insight, consumer insights to see, and to answer the question, will people buy this product? Mm-hmm. And if they do, what kind of people are these? And any kind of companies or startup can can list the products on Indiegogo or Crowdfunding. Yeah, products, yeah, so no, no. Uh, yeah, any 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 person can uh, can list it, just about anything on Indiegogo. You know, we love Indiegogo because they are um, just the, the the easiest platform to work with. They have the best e-commerce um, front end, mm-hmm. or it's not really e-commerce front end, just the, the best transactional front end, and um, just the best people. So uh, one of the interesting about your company is you have an R and D team in Vietnam, which mm-hmm. is something not normal. I mean, where's that idea coming from in the beginning? You know, I've always wanted to do something in Vietnam. Uh, I want to do something special. You know, mm-hmm. I didn't want to just have an outsourced team or something like that. That's not the. That wasn't very interesting. You know, I wanted to. I've always wanted to make products in Vietnam. Mm-hmm. And um, I felt this was a great opportunity to do that, you know. Um, and it matched well because we needed talent, and uh, the war for talent in Silicon Valley is very tough. It's brutal, you know. And so, uh, between those two interests, we said, uh, we thought, you know what? Now is the time to do it. You know. But how is the competency and skill from the Vietnamese talent I mean, compared to Silicon Valley people? Well, you know, um, it's hard to compare in generalities. There's a lot of great engineers and des- designers and scientists in Silicon Valley. Um, that's why maybe it's called Silicon Valley. Uh, but Vietnam has amazing talent. You know, that's mm-hmm. why we're here. We wouldn't be here if we couldn't find world-class people. But how do you find them exactly? I mean, uh, you know, you, you know. I mean, at the beginning, we we were. Um, uh, it was very pretty basic. Basically, if people won certain awards or whatnot, the Olympiads and whatnot. Then we would just call, cold call them, you know. Okay. Hey, how about you? Are you interested? You you were really it seems like you're really smart, you know. And um, and we only needed a few people. The thing is, engineering and science is not something that you overcome quality with quantity, you know. Maybe mm-hmm. dig, digging ditches is, mm-hmm. but uh, these are difficult. These are very specialized skills, and so uh, you know we and we've been able to find them, you know, one at a time. Uh, great people, great minds, uh, with a great attitude. Uh, what is the general requirement? Is, do they have to be like overseas trained or something like that? Yeah, you know, there's no requirement for being overseas trained. Uh, but basically, uh, we're looking for people. We've been looking for people who are world class. You know, people who have highly differentiated skills and backgrounds. How do you know that? And uh, well, you know, we have technical interviews. Uh, okay. We have, <laughs> uh, you know, for designers, we look at their portfolios. Hmm. You know, um, but probably the most important thing we look for is the cultural fit. You know, mm-hmm. we need people who are, you know, we're not looking for just 10x people. We're looking to build 10x teams, mm-hmm. you know, and not everybody needs to be the star striker, you know, right. um, but they need to, you know, we, we want people to work together well. And that's how we will become a great company is that we have awesome teamwork. Thưa quý vị, vừa rồi là những chia sẻ của anh Sunny Vũ là sáng lập viên của Misfit Wearables, là nhà sáng lập ra sản phẩm Misfit Shine. Chúng tôi sẽ quay trở lại sau ít phút nữa.